morning this morning i want to i went to you all this morning to this service i want you to open your mouth i begin to bless the name of the lord jesus begin to appreciate the king of kings and the lord of lord our maker our deliverer the one who woke us up this morning appreciate him for life appreciate him for protection appreciate him for all he has done for us give the lord praise this morning for bringing you into god's presence appreciate him father we give you praise father we adore you father we bow before you because there is none like you our way maker deliverer sustainer everything thank you lord jesus thank you ancient of days thank you i am that i am I appreciate God. Give the Lord praise. He alone deserves our praise and worship. He alone is worthy to be praised. Thank Him that you are in His presence once again. Thank Him for what He has set out to do in your life and in your family. I appreciate Him. Father, we give you praise. Father, we do not take for granted all your wonderful works in our lives. Blessed be your name, O God. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we bow before you. There is none to be compared to you. Oh, glory to the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we worship you. We adore you, O God. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want you to welcome the presence of the Lord and say, Father, come take your place in our midst. For without you, we can do nothing. Holy Ghost, we ask that you come take your place. Father, we hand over the meeting to you. Come glorify yourself in our midst. Lord, come take your place in our midst, O God. Come show yourself mighty in our midst, O God. Larado Shahika Baradeza. Mando lobo shigarada bagada gada. Mandelege de bregede gede gede. Jakata balagada bragada gada. O rada baba baragada. For without you we are not in Lord. Holy Ghost, we welcome your presence in our midst. Father, come take charge. Father, come take charge. From this moment to the very closing of this meeting, Father, come take your place. La rada baga shandala barada. Father, we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want you to pray and say, Father, use your servant for me this morning. Father, as you speak through your servant, let my life be transformed. As you speak through your servant, Stalin Mukuro, let my life take a new turn. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Father, as your servant, Stalin Mukoro minister, let my life take a new turn. Father, I pray for a total transformation. I pray for an encounter with divinity. Ladesha, Ikaro Zatima, Larada Baba Baradada, Shandelegedegedem. Let my life, oh God, take a new turn. Let my life be transformed. Let my destiny be transformed. Lord, as your servant minister to us this day, Father, may our lives, O God, be transformed in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you will use your servant, O God, yes, Lord, to give us that timely word that we need this morning in the name of Jesus. May our lives never remain the same after this meeting. Mandologo Shigaradabazia. Mande de 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 bosha, ikarada balagada radaba. Mande de 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 bosha, gede 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 gede. Rado gosha, ikabarade baradada rada bosha. Lege de gede 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 gede. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. We are going to stand against every force of distraction to this service. It will not stand. It will not come to pass. Any evil programming to distract the meeting will not stand. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, we come against any form of distraction program from hell against this meeting. Lord, it will not stand. It will not come to pass. We decree, O oh God, that the service shall be hitch free in the name of Jesus. La de shatamande kosi adaba. Herada baba baba. Radege dege dege de. Shakata balaga daga daga da. Mandolo borogo do zige dege 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 de. 
Distractions are arrested in the name of Jesus. Distractions are arrested in the name of Jesus. La de Basha. Ekura Bazin and over. Ikete Bregede Gede Gede Gede. Distractions are arrested in the name of Jesus. Mandele de Debo. Shadabala Gada Gadam. Elarada Bagada Garada Bagada. Shakatabala Gada Gada Gadam. Elarada Bosch. Ekos Yana Makatia. Eladada Bosch. Iradada Bosch. Le Cosia, Mande de Bosha, Le Catina, Namando, Christiana, Nana Macata, Le Rada Baba Baba Baba, yes, Lord. Glorify yourself, O God, and take away every form of distraction, O God, in the name of Jesus. Distractions are arrested in the name of Jesus. Manda da baragada gada gada, shakata balagada gada gada, lega dega 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 dega. Distractions are arrested in the name of Jesus. Manda rogo shada baba. Let's pray for our view centers and anyone will be connecting that the glory of the Lord will overshadow. That the glory of the Lord will overshadow them wherever they are. No la vie sentence or wherever they will be connected from Father, let your glory overshadow. Let your glory overshadow them, Lord. Le ko shada baradesia, mande de de bosh, i kada baragada gada gada gada. We pray for the overshadowing of your presence, O God, in the name of Jesus. The overshadowing of your glory, in the name of Jesus. In all our view centers and individuals connected from different parts of the world, Father, we pray that your glory will overshadow them, in the name of Jesus. Lata baragada bagada, shakata balagada gada, lekete bregede gede gede, shakata kata kata. It's a new week. I want you to decree into the week and say, Father, this week is blessed. This week is blessed for me and my family. Oh, la de kabarade, shada baba baragada. For you daily loaded them with benefits. Decree over your life and family. As we enter into a new week today, Father, I decree your blessings upon my home. I decree your blessings upon my family. I decree, O oh God, yes, so that my going out and my coming in shall be blessed. Lord, I decree, O oh God, that no evil befall me this week. No plague shall come near my dwelling this week. In the name of Jesus. Father, I decree over my life, O oh God, that I'm ordered. Each step of the way, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I decree over my life, O God, that we are protected, we are shielded, we are guided from all evil, in the name of Jesus. Ekurada baba baba ragada gada, shakata gada 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 gada, ola rada baba gada gada gada. We advance this week. We increase on every side. In the name of Jesus, ideas are dropping, O oh God, that we shift us to the next level of our lives, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we will not walk in limitation this week, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, evil shall not come near us, O oh God. Affliction are arrested, sickness are arrested, accidents are arrested. In this new week, oh God, Father, all we will see is your glory. In the name of Jesus, la rada baba ba shanda la bagada, mando lobo shige de berege de, akori anama zina na mande de de bo, ekora da ba kayanda da basha. Your blessings, O God, your overflowing blessing, let it be my portion and out of my family, O God, in this new week, in the name of Jesus. Let Obaragada, sudden disaster will not come close to me, sudden trouble will not come to my dwelling, in the name of Jesus. Let Obaragada, for he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Lord, we take refuge in you in this new week. In the name of Jesus. Mande kusiana mande lebosha. Ira baba baba baba. Ilerede de 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 boom. 
Ilala da bagada, manda da bagada gada, manda de 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 bush, ikara da ba 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 ba. We advance, we increase in the name of Jesus. Ikola di barada ziana mandi, Korea baria da balagada. All our projects, all our visions of this future shall be accomplished in the name of Jesus. There shall be no abortion of dreams. There shall be no abortion of visions of this week in the name of Jesus. All we lay our hands to do this week shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Mandele Gabosha, Ikarada Bandele Debosh, Ikateri and the Kete Bregadegadem, Orada Baba Baba Baba. Your light is shining on our path this week in the name of Jesus. Le coat is in Aminda Desha, Arada Bamba La Baragadagada, Jacata Balagadagadagada, Jacate Belegadegadegadegade, Ilana Dabagadagada. We receive divine direction this week, O oh God. We receive divine guidance this week, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, you lead us, Lord, as our shepherd, O oh God, to where we will find pastor. In the name of Jesus, you lead us in a path of peace this week, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Zata Balagadagada, Mandele Gedebosham, Ikata Balagadagadagada. In this new week, O oh God, evil shall not come near me. It shall not come near my family. In the name of Jesus, we walk on the path of safety. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, we give you praise. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O God. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Emmanuel. How are we here in our Emmanuel, Emmanuel, how are we Jesus, 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 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Can we lift up our voice this morning? Give him the praise and the glory and honor. Bless the name of Jesus. 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 That's okay. Go ahead and give him praise. Worship the Lord this morning. Worship the Lord this morning. Worship the Lord this morning. Give him praise. Give him praise. Alpha, Omega, the beginning and the ending is his name. The Lord of hosts is his name. Creator of the universe is his name. Worship him today. Worship him today. Give him praise and give him glory. Give him praise and glory. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Just go ahead and give him praise this morning. Give him the praise and the glory this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your name, Father. We bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For all the testimonies, we give the praise. Yes, for your glory in our lives, we say thank you. Thank you for the healing power. Thank you for the healing anointing. Thank you for saving lives. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. For the testimonies we have recorded, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For 
all the healings and the deliverances we have seen. We say thank you. Thank you for being our shepherd. Thank you for being our Lord. We do not take you for granted. Take all honor. Take all praise. I bow at your feet. I hide myself behind the cross this morning. I ask that you speak through me. For everyone who is connected this morning, we ask that there will be an encounter. Amen. Touch all our online audience. Amen. Touch those here on ground. Amen. Touch those in our viewing centers. Amen. We love you. Yes, we praise you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Someone say amen. Amen. Say that amen very loud. Amen. Be seated in the presence of God. Say hi. Be seated in the presence of the Lord this morning. I'd like to welcome everyone, those watching online, those watching on site, and for everyone with me here, the Lord would bless you greatly in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Great things are happening, and the Lord is doing amazing things. Thank you for that, good church. I receive your greetings. Amen. Praise the Lord. And thank you, Minister Renard, for being on ground with us over there. And um, for everyone who is here, we want to say thank you. Those connected, we want to say welcome. The Lord richly bless you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I said the Lord richly bless you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God deserves our worship. And that's why we are giving it to him. With that all that God wants us to do this year is to worship him with our lives. Is to worship him with all that we've got. Is to worship him with all that we are. We are created for worship. We are first created for worship before we are created for business and our assignments. Praise the Lord. We are still on the subject of the Lord is my shepherd. We're still on the subject of the Lord is my shepherd. My God. Still on the subject of the Lord is my shepherd. Somebody say the Lord is my shepherd. I want you to declare it. Say the Lord is my shepherd. Say the Lord is my shepherd. Say amen. Psalm 23. John chapter 10. Psalm 23, John chapter 10. Psalms 23 and John chapter 10. Psalm 23 is our anchor scripture for the prophetic theme of this month. Psalm 23. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Our God is faithful. E conando Susanna Rosia Catara Dina Baba Catesha Mendolo Cosica and the Cosanda Baca Leruza Ganambo Rocetesi Gidandodic Mantala Bande Cosica Bandeli and the Cosadiana. Thank you, Lord. 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 This morning, O Rabacate, Nemonde Le Bagadesha Candolo Brande Cosica Radabande Le Keduzi and Amanda. Horadi Sakaru Shikaka Keketo Se Keketo Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is faithful. Just go ahead and worship him one minute. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Give him the praise one minute. Give him the honor one minute. Give him the adoration one minute. Worship him today. Worship him today. Wow, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You, Lord Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Nandi Sakatada, 
Shingo sigarende ke sigina naundosh. Keliga satino grondi kala barati zagano satata. All right. Psalms 23, the Bible says, The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Make me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Restore my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. You know the story and you know the Psalms. Um, John chapter 10 this morning. John chapter 10. John chapter 10 this morning. Let's see the book of John. Chapter number 10. Please make sure you stay with us this morning. We are reading John 10. Then said Jesus, I'm reading from, okay, let's, let's start reading from verse number 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, the sheepfold, he climb, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. The Lord will lead you out of every danger this season. Amen. The Lord will lead you out of every trouble this season. Amen. I can hear your amen. The Lord will lead you out of every trouble this season. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus, amen. whatever it is that the challenge are, or the challenges are the Lord will lead you out of them all. Amen. He says, he Lead them out. Now let's get to verse 4. And he put forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. May you know God's voice this year. Amen. Now, verse number four, five. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers now let's get to verse 7 then jesus said unto them again verily i say unto you i am the door of the sheep and all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers but the sheep did not hear them now the stand the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy i am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly i like this 11 it says i'm the good shepherd the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is an hireling and not the sheep, not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming and leaveth the sheep. He sees the wolf. He sees an enemy coming. He leaves the sheep and fleeth. And the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth because he is an hireling and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and am known of mine wow and i'm known of mine now let's quickly look at verse number 15 as the father knoweth me even so i know the father and i lay down my life for the sheep and other sheep i have which are not of this food them also i must bring and they shall hear my voice and there shall be one food and one shepherd therefore do it my father love me because i lay down my life that I might take it again. That I might take it again. Praise the name of Jesus. Verse 28. I give unto them an eternal life. I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish. Neither shall any man. Somebody say any man. Say any man. Any man. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my father's hand. No devil will be able to pluck you out of God's hand this year Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Neither shall any man pluck them out. So there are men whose assignment is to pluck out. Pluck out people from their place of work. Pluck out people from life. Pluck out people from marriages. But the Bible says, because the Lord is your shepherd and that you are being protected by the Lord, no man shall be able to pluck you out of the shepherd's hand and out of the place where the shepherd has kept you. 
Somebody say amen. amen. I can't hear you say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. All right, last, last Sunday we began to look at enjoying the shepherd's provision. Enjoying the shepherd's provision. And we looked at the fact that the shepherd, the shepherd is Jesus, our Lord and Savior, and that he cares for us more than we care for ourselves. And we also saw that one of the shepherd's responsibility is to provide for the sheep. And we began to look at how to enjoy the provision of the shepherd. And we also looked at how does the shepherd and how does God and how does God provide for the sheep. We said that God provides by leading. He provides through favor. He provides through ideas. He provides through blessing the works of our hands. And then also he provides by giving commands to men and to institutions to release the things that we need as God's people. Somebody say amen. amen. And so we, we, we looked at how to enjoy the shepherd's provision. We said by believing and um, we also said by seeing him as our source. And also we looked at by looking up to him for provision and then by following his leading and also we said that we enjoy the shepherd's provision by believing and obeying his principles. And then we said that until the shepherd's principles are obeyed, his provisions are not guaranteed. And we looked at obeying the principle of uh, being a sower, obeying the principle of being a channel of blessing through which others are blessed. We also looked at obeying the principle of tithing. The principle of tithing. The principle of tithing. We looked at all of that. Obeying the principle of tithing. We said that if you're going to enjoy the provision of the shepherd, one of the things you need to do is to obey the principle of tithing. We also looked at the fact that you also need to obey the principle of giving to the prophet. We are looked at Philippians chapter 4, verse 15 to 19. The principle of giving to the prophet. And um, we saw that if we're going to prosper, we're going to enjoy his provision, one of the things we need to do is to give to our prophet. Because, you see, your prophet is your prophet. And today, we are looking at how to enjoy the shepherd's provision. How to enjoy the shepherd's, sorry, how to enjoy the shepherd's protection. Last week was how to enjoy the shepherd's provision. This week is how to enjoy the shepherd's protection. Please follow me closely. Take your notes, right? Don't assume that you know what I'm, what I'm about to teach. Sometimes you may think you know, but the word of God cannot be totally comprehended. Revelations come when the word is repeated in our spirits and light is given as the word is shared. How to enjoy the shepherd's protection. I like to say to us this morning that in the journey of life, the shepherd's protection is the guarantee for safety. The shepherd's protection is the guarantee for the safety of the sheep. It's also important that we know that the shepherd's protection is the highest level and form of protection. The shepherd's protection is the highest level and form of protection. It is the highest level and form of protection. There are many, there are many, um, you know, levels of protection. There are different levels of protection. There are different types of protection. There are a lot of things that, you know, uh, protect people. Some people are protected by some things they believe in, on some shams, some um, things we call autonopo. You know, some autonopo, some are shared, some kind of, you know, um, rings. Um, there are those who put on rings, and um, that's what protects them. And there are those who are connected to some um, sources of um, idol, voodoo, juju, and all manner of things. The other day, some years ago, um, I was uh, as a student, you know, I was writing an exam in one of the states, and um, I happened to be with some other um, group of people who were together in that exam. And so one of these days, we were walking on the street after we had finished our exam somewhere in a, in a place. I don't want to mention the name. Okay, um, we're walking on the road and 
a guy began to talk to me. He said um, his father is a native doctor. Himself also is a young practicing native doctor. He's in the school of native doctor and all that. He's a serious spiritualist. And he said to me, so whenever I enter the house, um, probably he's on the vehicle and the vehicle gets involved in an accident. He said he has a way of disappearing from the vehicle. He would be, he would be outside the vehicle, outside the place where the accident happens. He might just be by the side of the road. And then he said, if, for example, we are walking and um, he doesn't want anybody to see him or somebody he doesn't want to see him is coming across him and all that or coming towards him, there's something he would do, the person will not see him. And all that. So as a young person, I said, man, if you really have such power, show it. So coincidentally, we were coming and um, I saw somebody that I know and I didn't want the person to see me. Okay, so I said, that thing you said you can do, do it now. Let me know if really it's working and all that. Let me see how your protections work and all that. So he said, okay, no problem. But let's be going. So on getting to where the guy, the guy was coming very close to us. The guy pulled his shoes from his leg and that guy actually walked past us. <laughs> he was looking at me, not like, you know, you, you see your own brother. He was looking at me face to face and he didn't know me. He just walked past. He didn't see us. So the guy told me, say, I told you. I told you, he said, look, this thing, this thing did. Amen. Now, that's many, many years ago. Many over 15 years ago. Now, now, what am I saying? There are levels of protections that people have. Levels of protection. There are people you see walking with you, some of them have beads on their waist. There are those, their own protection is inside their, their tummy. They've swallowed something. And that's what protects them. Some have swallowed all manner of things. So, but I want you to understand that the shepherd's protection is the highest form of protection. And then also it's important that, you know, um, for us to understand that the absence of the shepherd's protection is the sponsor of vulnerability in life. Without the shepherd's protection, you are vulnerable. Without the shepherd's protection, you are vulnerable. Vulnerability is the proof of the absence of the shepherd's protection. And it's also important for us to know that nothing immunes like the shepherd's protection. When the shepherd begins to protect you, you are immune. You are immune against death. You are immune against diseases. You are immune against all the onslaughts, all of the molestations and the assaults of the devil. Nothing immunes like the shepherd's protection. Now, it's also very important that you know that you cannot be divinely protected and be victimized. Yeah. You cannot be divinely protected. Because when we talk of the shepherd's protection, we're talking about divine protection. You cannot be divinely protected by the shepherd and be victimized. You cannot be divinely protected by the shepherd and end up a casualty in the journey of life. Now, the shepherd cannot protect you and wolves devour you. Please take note of that. The shepherd cannot protect you and wolves devour you the bible says jesus was speaking he said i am the good shepherd he said the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep but the man who is an hireling when he sees he sees he sees the 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 the, the wolf coming he flees from the sheep but the good shepherd will confront the sheep i mean will confront the wolf you know, David was a good shepherd. The Bible says he killed the bear, he killed the lion that was coming after the, the sheep. And it was from that revelation that he referred to Jesus, he referred to God as his shepherd. Jesus is the good shepherd that secures and protects and saves and rescues and delivers the sheep from the hand of the wolf all right now the shepherd cannot protect you and wolves devour you the question this morning therefore becomes why do we need the shepherd's protection why is the shepherd's protection very important at this time why do we need the shepherd's protection number one we need the shepherd's protection because life itself is a battle life is a 
Life itself is a battle. Life itself is a battle of both seen and unseen warfare. Life is a battle of both visible and invisible confrontation. Life is a battle. We live in a world that is not a fun fair. Life is a warfare. Life is not a playground. Life is a battleground. Every day there are battles going on in the realm of the spirit. There are forces on assignments. Forces from the cater of darkness. On assignment against your health. On assignment against your marriage. On assignment against your business. On assignment against your ministry. On assignment against your finances. Life is a battle. And please listen very carefully. You know the Bible says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Not that if, not that we may wrestle. He did not say we may wrestle. He said, For we wrestle. So wrestling inevitable as far as life is concerned. Wrestling is not optional. Fighting is a must. I've said to us that until you fight, you cannot take a flight. Until you fight, you can't fly in life. Fighting is inevitable. It's a part of life. So there are battles going on in the spirit. Now many of us, while we are in the city, there are people that are dancing around heavy duty fire with calabar making intentions against us there are battles that we face from enchanters diviners from witches and from wizards especially if you are from the part of the world we are from witches and wizards serious intense spiritual battle it's all life is a fight and therefore the place of divine protection becomes very necessary it's a battle the next reason why we need the shepherd's protection is because of the increase in wickedness Increase in wickedness. Wickedness is on the increase. You need to be divinely protected. Wickedness is on the increase. You need to be divinely protected. It's on the increase. The Bible says the art of man is desperately wicked. And it's on the increase. Wickedness. We live in a world today where brothers cannot be trusted. Where sisters cannot be trusted. We live in a world today where even children cannot be trusted. Where even wives cannot be trusted. You need to be divinely protected because wickedness is on the increase. You need to be divinely protected. The more as we get close to the end of the age, the more wickedness will continue to be on the increase you're working with some oh come on there are lots of things i really cannot say this morning but i want you to know that we need divine protection because wickedness is on the increase it's an increase it's an increase wickedness please take your seats wickedness it's on the increase in an intense major, Pastor Rock. In an intense major. Somebody walked into a compound where, um, you know, a neighbor took the key of another neighbor from here. They used to hide their key when they are going out. Opened the door and poisoned their food. Father, mother, children ate and died. Wickedness is on the increase. 
Wickedness is on the increase. A story of a, of, a, of, a, of a lady who, who planned of getting married and you know went to tell the, the friend that I'm, I'm, I'm getting married. And my, 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 my husband to be and his people they are coming for introduction. Prior to when they will come, the young girl went and you know borrowed the guest clothes who was to get married, took the clothes to a native doctor, said, Do something so that this girl will not marry. To cut the old story short, on the day of introduction, that was the clothes the girl wore. What the clothes got out of the bedroom and turned into a cat. Half cat, half human being. I was misbehaving like a cat. That was the end of the relationship. A girl was brought to me some, some years ago in Port Harcourt, you know, who had a competition in Bayasa. They had a competition, they were going for a competition. A friend of ours took her wig to a native doctor did something against her. She fixed the wig. As soon as she appeared on the stage, she went mad. As soon as she appeared on the stage where the competition was being done, she went mad. Pulled her clothes and went mad. And after the whole thing, it was, it was discovered that it was a friend. The friend began to confess that because of envy, she took the wig she wore that day to a native doctor. Stay with me. You need divine protection because wickedness is on the increase. It's in the increase. I was, I was, I, I, I had an encounter some, some time ago that made me cry. Fine, beautiful boy, handsome looking guy. Was a footballer. He plays ball. And somebody spotted him and said, oh, you can't be playing here in Nigeria. You, you are too gifted to talent to be playing in a local in a local um, league and all that you need to play internationally they made arrangement did visa did everything for the guy to travel out of the country ab by name ab was to travel on monday he went mad on saturday the people who came to carry him abroad the people who made arrangement for him to go play abroad everything had been done they came met him on shame and after a few days later one girl was confessing that he made she made him mad so he can't travel abroad sir wickedness is on the increase if there is any time we need god's protection it is now we need his protection now more than ever before number three why do we need divine protection why do we need the shepherd's protection because of the unsuspected nature of the enemy because of the unsuspected nature of the enemy unsuspected nature of the enemy man we need divine protection because the some of the enemies we are dealing with are people that we cannot even suspect they are people that we don't even suspect to be the the enemies behind what is going on Samson never knew that Delilah was an enemy. The lady who had a baby, you know, you know, there were two ladies who had a baby in, in, the, in, the, in the days of Solomon. The Bible says one slept and died, and slept on the child, and the child died at night. The other one exchanged the living child for the dead child. That lady whose child was alive. Never knew that a roommate was an enemy. The people who smile at you, they laugh with you in the day, but in the night they go to fight you. They smile at you in the day. Some of them like your post on Facebook, but they don't really like you in actuality. They see you, they smile. You know, it was what David said. He said, if it was an enemy that has done this to me, it would have not been an issue, Pastor Rock. He said, but I'm angry because it's paining me because it's a friend. Somebody will take sweet cancer together. We go to the same church together. We pray together. We fast together. He tells me his own, I tell him his own secret, my secret, he tells me his own secret. You can't suspect them. You need divine protection because of the unsuspected nature of the enemy. I've seen bestie what you call bestie take another bestie's 
husband to be away. A young girl was crying. Oh, I'm losing my man. I'm losing my man. Please, let me find. Let me find. I'm losing my man. I'm losing my man. I'm losing my man. And you know, a friend took her. Said, "Come, let's go and meet uh, a man of God who would pray." Thank God for the prophetic. On getting there, the man of God said to the friend, he said, the person, you know, who is doing you is not far from you. The girl said, oh, who is this person that will be doing me this kind of thing? He said, the person is very close to you as I speak now. He said, oh, it's okay. He said, oh, this person who is doing me, who could this person be? Who would this, who would this person be? He said, the person is sitting close to you as I speak now. He said, no, he cannot be. Uh, no, 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 no. This is the person that brought me for you to pray for me. How can she be the one fighting me? He said, now, nah, tell her to open her phone. And let her open to the third test message on her phone. By the time they opened her phone, the girl's legs were already shaking. Ladies and gentlemen, they saw the love messages, the arrangements that this girl who was crying, her husband-to-be, have been sending to this other lady. Yet, she is the one who took her for prayers. And you know in life, when your enemy is the one looking for help for you, help will be very far. You didn't get what I said. When the one troubling you is the one looking for help for you, help will be very far. Sir, we need divine protection at this point because of the unsuspected nature of the enemy. Nobody could suspect Judas that he was going to betray the master. Nobody. Nobody. Had a story of a great man of God in Nigeria, world, known worldwide. In this, in, in one, of the, the greatest, one of the greatest men of God in this whole country. I'm talking about Pastor Ia Deboe. Had a story about him, how um, some years ago, somebody was paid to poison him. The house girl was paid to poison him. And as Baba began to pray, the girl, you know, was blessing the food to eat. The girl cried out and said, Baba, I was paid to poison you. The food you are about to eat is actually poison. Unsuspected nature of the enemies. The Bible says there are wolves in sheep clothing. Unsuspected nature. Some are even on the altar. Some are pastors. Some are, you know, believers in quotes. But they are enemies in these guys. The worst of them is that some of them are in the church. They speak in tongues. You know, I was telling somebody a few days ago, I said, I was talking to one of my brothers, I said, um, one of the things that I really don't like about our Christian religion is that everything about God can be copied. Everything can be copied. Just anybody can act as a Christian, but he's an enemy. Somebody can get into church and speak in capital letter tongues, but he's a wolf. Koreada, Zokono, Momono, Lebobobo. He will speak in tongues. But behind, is an enemy to the church. He's an enemy to believers. So we need divine protection because of the unsuspected nature of the enemy. The next reason why we need divine protection is because there is a limit to which we can protect ourselves. There's a limit to which we can protect ourselves. Psalms 127. Psalms 127. I see it at which you can have that on the screen. Psalms 127 verse 1. Psalm 127 verse 1. The Bible says, Except the Lord builds the city, the labor in vain that builds it. Except the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen wash it, but in vain. Psalm 127. City. The labor in vain that builds it. And except the Lord watches over the city the watchmen they watch it but in vain except the lord protects the city you know the labor in vain that builds it unless the lord guards the city the watchman stays awake in vain the watchman the new king james says the watchman stays awake in vain except the lord to which you can protect yourself as an individual, there's a limit to which we can actually protect ourselves. For except the Lord builds the city, the labor in vain that builds it. Other translation says, except the Lord protects and guides the city, the labor in vain that protects it. So there's a limit to which any one of us and every one of us can protect ourselves. There's a limit. What are the agencies? What are the instruments of 
divine protection. What are the instruments, the agencies through which God protects his people? What are the instruments and the agencies? Can I have a package? What are the agencies and the instruments through which God protects his people? And how does God protect his people? How does the shepherd protect? Number one, the shepherd protects by giving his angels charge over us. God protects by giving his angels charge over us. Psalms 91 verse 11 and Psalms 34 verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamped around them that fear him. The angel of the Lord encamp. They protect, they surround, they guard those that fear him. So God protects us. We, we enjoy divine provision by receiving, you know, angelic protection. We enjoy divine provision by the operation of angels. He protects by giving his angels charge over us we saw that in the life of um i think it was elisha now who said to the servant don't be afraid he said they that be with us are more than they that are with them when the the servant's eyes got opened he saw the host of angels that surrounded them now in hebrews chapter 1 i think verse 14 the bible says he would give his angels now he says he make it a servant flaming fire and um his um angels ministering spirit he said these are angels who have been called to minister to them that shall be heirs of salvation so we enjoy divine provision the shepherd's provision by the oppression of angels yes angels are real i want you to understand that the protection of angels is a reality angels are real we 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 we, we have the, the the ministry of angels there are angels that are on special duty to put angels that are on a special assignment to protect you as a child of god their assignment is to protect you is to make sure that nothing is missing and nothing is broken in your life is to make sure that the enemy does not have a point of invasion these are angels that are specially designed specially created specially assigned to ensure your safety please understand that the operation and the protection of angels in your life, it's a reality. It's a reality. So the shepherd protects us by giving his angels charge over us. And there are terrestrial angels and there are celestial angels. There are angels who take the form of humans and there are angels who we can't see with our invisible, with our visible eyes. They are invisible beings. Had a story of a guy who told the friend that he had some money, you know, just got some money and that he was traveling. The friend passed behind him and um, went to break into the house. Got some people, they broke into the house because he knew the friend had traveled. On getting there, they met uh, a tall soldier with AK-47 rifle standing in the middle of the house with gun, everything, bullets everywhere, tall, almost to the roof. When they bust the door and enter the house, they saw the guy standing there. The guy was there with the gun. <laughs> and they all ran away for their lives. And you know, how did the friend go to know that they tried robbing him? They called him and said, You're Chris. You're a very stupid person. He said, How much do you have in your house that you went and put that kind of fierce in that kind of fierce soldier in your house? How much did they protect? How much are you protecting? And the guy said, Me, soldier, how was the connection? But ladies and gentlemen, before he left his house, he actually prayed and said, Father, let your angel protect this house. Let your angels protect this house before I return. Mm -hmm. So there is, the, there is the protection that we receive from angels. Now, number two, the shepherds protect, the shepherd protects by, all right, by the seal of the anointing. There is divine protection by the seal of the anointing. There is divine protection by the seal of the anointing. God protects you. The shepherd protects you by putting a seal of the anointing. Now, the anointing has a voice. The anointing says something. What does the anointing say? The anointing says, touch not. Psalm 105 verse 14. The Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. 
touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. The anointing, the seal of the anointing forbids you from being, from being arrested, from being harassed. It forbids you from being molested. It forbids you from being, you know, from being battered and shattered by the enemies. It forbids you from being attacked by the devil. He says, touch not my anointed. Once the seal of the anointing is on your life, you become a touch not commodity. You become a touch not entity. What touch others can touch you when the seal of the anointing is on your life. I prophesy to everyone watching me right now, may that seal of the anointing come upon you. Amen. May the Lord put the seal of his protection on your life. Amen. If I hear your amen, you are the one I just prayed for now. Amen. Let's check and zoom on There's a seal of the anointing. There's a seal of the anointing. The seal of the anointing. The seal of protection. Check and zoom audio. And then it lights our own. Somebody else show me. There's a seal of the anointing. And it is what protects you. It is what says to the enemy, touch not. Touch not. Touch not. The enemy tries to kill you. The seal of the anointing says, touch not. I'm up already here. So. The, the devil tries to take your life. The seal of the anointing says, touch not. I'm sure there's volume. Accident tries to take your life. The anointing says, touch not. That protects the believer. May that anointing come upon you. Amen. You know, it was that seal of the anointing that made the Bible, you know, the, that's what the, the scripture was referring to when he said, touch not my anointed. And then he says, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Are we still together to this point? I hope I'm not distracted. Now please follow me. Guarantees your protection in the midst of the storms, in the midst of the battles, in the midst of the confrontations of life. Number three, the shepherd protects by his name. There is divine protection in the name of Jesus. There is divine protection in the name of Jesus. There is a shepherd's protection in the name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The Bible says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and they are safe. Proverbs 18, 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and they are safe. So the, the name is not just as it were um, like we, we, we have a when I call the name Jesus, I'm coming under covering. Yes, sir. When I'm confronted and I'm attacked, when I'm confronted by a situation and I make mention of the name of Jesus, there is the covering I come under. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and they are safe. So the name Jesus is one of God's agencies of protection. Are we together to this point? Now, there is divine protection also by prophetic covering. The shepherds protect us. The sheep shepherd protects us by prophetic covering. What is prophetic covering? This is the protection you receive from being under a man of God. This is the protection you receive from your man of God. Listen very carefully. This is very important. In Osea, can I have Osea chapter 12 verse 13 on the screen? Osea chapter 12. The book of Osea 12 verse 13. If it's possible, let's have that. Osea 12, 13, the Bible says, By a prophet, Israel was brought out of Egypt, and by a prophet, they were preserved. Osea 12, 13. Now, it's important that you know that prophets are God's agents of protection. Your man of God is God's agent, is God's agent of protection for your life. The church, the believers, are protected. There's what we call prophetic covering. So that whatever cannot get at your pastor can't get at you whatever can't get at your man of god can't get at you whatever cannot kill your man of god cannot kill you it is called prophetic covering prophetic covering there is the protection that you receive from being under a man of god from being under a servant of god there is the protection that you get there is the protection that follow me if you can't get it no challenge but just write it down. Osea 12, 13. There is the protection that you receive from being under a man of God. From being under a man of God. Prophets are designed to keep you away from danger. 
to keep you away from attacks, to keep you away from the plots, the onslaughts of the enemy. That's why it's risky for a child of God not to have a pastor over his head. That's why it's risky for a, a, a believer not to have a man of God that is connected to. You must have prophetic cover. You must have somebody who picks signal for you. You must have somebody who prays for you. You must have somebody who sees danger ahead of time for your sake. Are you still here? Prophetic covering is important to enjoying provision, I mean protection. So there's divine protection by prophetic covering. And then finally, there's divine protection by divine presence. Isaiah 41 verse 10 to 12, Exodus 13 verse 21, Exodus 13 verse 21, there's divine, there's divine protection that comes by divine presence. There's divine protection that comes by divine presence. When you come under the presence of God, there is the protection that you enjoy. There is the protection that you enjoy. There's divine protection that comes by divine presence. Exodus 13 verse 21 and Psalm 27 verse 1 that we saw. Isaiah 41 verse 10 to 12. There's divine protection. There's divine protection. There's divine protection that comes from the presence of the Lord. You know, the Bible says it was unto them in Exodus 13 verse 21, it was unto them a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day. The presence of God followed them, you know, in the day and in the night. And as much and as long as that presence was with them, they were not killed. They could not be killed. They could not be destroyed. They could not be molested. They could not be attacked as long as the presence of God was following a pillar of fire by day. Are you still together with me? So there is the protection that we receive from the presence of God. Now, as we close this morning, as we close this morning, we have, we have looked at why we need divine protection. We have looked at what are the agencies of divine protection. We have looked at the fact that angels are one of God's agencies of protection, the seal of the anointing. We have looked at the shepherd protests by his name. We have said that we receive protection by prophetic covering. We receive protection by divine presence. By divine what? Presence. Now, how do we enjoy the shepherd's protection? Finally, how do we enjoy the shepherd's protection? protection we have looked at how does the shepherd protect how does the shepherd protect how does the shepherd protect protects through the seal of the anointing through his name through um prophetic covering and 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 and, and through divine presence and also by giving his angels charge and now we're looking at how to enjoy divine presence number one if you are going to enjoy divine presence you need to build capacity to hear the shepherd's voice Sorry, if you're going to enjoy divine protection, you need to build capacity to hear the shepherd's voice. You need to build capacity to hear the shepherd's voice. Now, he says, my sheep hear my voice, and the voice of a stranger will they not hear. Capacity to hear the shepherd's voice. The voice, the shepherd's voice, all right, is the guarantee of the believer's protection. When a sheep cannot hear the shepherd's voice, he would go astray. Nah. Listen to this. It takes the shepherd, it takes the voice of God to enjoy divine provision, I mean protection. And every sheep that loses touch with the shepherd's voice is heading for a doom. Nah. Every sheep that loses touch with the shepherd's voice is heading for a doom. Because the shepherd sees danger ahead and calls the sheep. And all the sheep takes cover. It's just like the mother hen that has little, little, little chicks. All right? Now he sees the orc, what we call olefau. He sees the orc flying in the sky. 
and then he starts making noise. There's this noise that every mother ear makes. Now, once that noise is made, and the, the chicks, yes, the voice of the mother end, they all come under the mother's feather. And as long as that happens, it is impossible for any orc to snatch their chick away. Are you following what I'm saying here? So also with the believer. There are times God will see danger ahead. And he begins to speak. He begins to warn. He gives you, he gives you signs. He says to you, don't go. Don't take that step. Don't make that decision. Don't go out today. You know, many of the dangers we fall into is as a result of lack of touch with the voice of God. There is nothing that happened to a believer that God was not aware of. The, the problem is that God spoke, but the believer did not hear. God warned, but the believer was totally disconnected from his voice. That's one of the reasons why if there is anything you must be afraid of, as you journey through this year, be afraid of not hearing God's voice. You must build capacity to hear his voice. There's nothing. God spoke. But attention was not paid to his voice. His voice probably was not heard. He spoke. There are times God can protect you from wrong marriage. Protect you from wrong business. Prote when we talk about protection, it's not only from witches and wizards. God can protect you from, you know, accident. You're about body in a car, body in a flight. He says to you, don't enter this one. But no one is listening. God is speaking. No one is listening. And no one is hearing. And so danger becomes inevitable. Destruction becomes inevitable. Lift up your hands and say, Father, help me to hear your voice this year. How do I enjoy the shepherd's protection? Number two, be where the shepherd wants you to be. Be where the shepherd wants you to be. We enjoy divine protection by being where the shepherd wants us to be. Your protection is in where the shepherd wants you to be. Every sheep, the Bible told us from the book of John, it says the shepherd leads the sheep. He goes ahead of the sheep and the sheep follows the shepherd. There is where the shepherd wants the sheep to be. And it is in that place that the sheep can find safety. It is in that place that the sheep can find protection. Many of us have fallen into all manner of satanic traps. Many people have fallen into all manner of satanic, you know, manipulations. Because they were out of where the shepherd wanted them to be. It is being where the shepherd wants you to be that guarantees protection in the journey of life. You cannot be in Lagos or in Abuja when the shepherd wants you to be in worry. Are you following what I'm saying here? You cannot be upstairs when the shepherd wants you to be downstairs. Your protection is tied to the location the shepherd wants you to be. Number three, how do I enjoy the shepherd's protection? Follow the shepherd closely and obey his instructions. Follow the shepherd closely and obey his instruction. He said the sheep follows the shepherd. My sheep hear my voice and they follow. They follow. They follow. He said, the voice of a stranger, they will not follow. They won't walk after a stranger. They follow the shepherd closely and they obey his voice. Uh, Hear this child of God, obedience to divine instructions is what guarantees protection. And it is what delivers from destruction. Uh, obedience to divine instruction is what guarantees protection. And it is what delivers from destruction. Many have been destroyed. Many have been ruined. Many have been killed. Because instructions were not obeyed. This year, you want to obey divine protection? You want to enjoy the shepherd's protection? Obey every bit of his instruction. Don't argue with God this year. He says anything for you to do, do it promptly. Obey his instructions if you want to escape destruction, obey his instructions. If you want to enjoy provision, 
if you want to enjoy protection. Obey his instruction. Obey his instruction. Follow him closely. Follow him closely. Lord, where do you want me to be? Lord, where do you want me to go? What steps should I take? Should I go out today or not? Lord, what do you want me to do? What are, the, what are the instructions that you are giving to me? Obey his instructions. Any sheep that disobeys his shepherd will be killed. Will be killed. You know, that's why there's something they say in our side. They said, when a dog uh, can no longer listen to the, the whistle, is it whistle they call it? When, when the dog can no longer hear the, 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 the owner's whistle, or obey the owner's whistle, that dog will be killed. It will end up in the pot of the man who eats dog and will be used for dog meat. Before destruction is disobedience to divine instruction. I say it again. Before destruction is disobedience to divine instructions. Obey God closely. Obey God closely. Obey God closely. Follow him closely. Obey him with all of your life. Don't argue with any bit of his instructions this year. Obey him. He says to you, don't sleep around. Obey him. He's protecting you from being infected. He's protecting you from being killed. He says to you, pay your tithe. Obey him. He's protecting you from devourers. He says to you, live holy. Maintain consecration. Obey him. Because he's not just only protecting you from being attacked, he's protecting the edge of protection that surrounds you. For when the edge is broken, the serpent bites. Obey every bit of his instruction. Obey him. Obey him. And finally, live in the consciousness of the shepherd's protection. Live in the consciousness of the shepherd's protection. When you walk, live in that consciousness that I'm being protected. Rise up to your feet. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus for the word you have received. Time came this morning. Everyone lift up your voice, please. Give him praise this morning. Adore him for the word you have received. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you honor. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the word. We pray. Lift up your right hand and say with me. We're going to pray some very serious prayers this morning. Say with me. Say, Father, I receive grace to hear your voice. Say, Father, open my ears. To hear your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray. Talk to God now. Pastors pray. Everyone pray. Lord, help me to hear your voice this year. Help me to hear your voice this year. Help me to hear your voice this year. Lord, open my ears to hear you. Take away the scale from my ears. Take away the scale from my ears. Take away the scale from my ears. Somebody talk to God. Andelebosha, Catelenosia, Ecora Bandesia, Elendo, Sakindo, Shandabata, Elenosa, Gande Lebronze, Lekita, Lembrode, Bande Lebrosia, Degadia Namande. Lord, open my ears to hear your voice. Open my ears to hear your voice. In Jesus' name we pray. Say with me, say, Father, help me to be where you want me to be this year. Say, Father, help me to be where you want me to be this year. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Help me to be where you want me to be this year. La rada bakata la bara baba bakata. Bando le brebe beleke tu zala brakata purakata kata kata ya. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray, somebody pray. Lord, help me to be where you want me to be this year. Thank you, Father. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Lift your hands and say, Father, help me, Lord, to follow you closely and to obey your instructions. This year, Lord, open your mouth and turn into prayer. Help me, Father, to obey your instructions. Help me to follow you closely. Help me to obey your instructions. Help me to follow you closely. Help me to obey your instructions. Help me to follow you closely. Adalabayakata. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift your right and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive the seal of the anointing for protection. Say, Father, put on me the seal of your anointing. Put on me the seal of your anointing. Put the seal. Say, put the seal of your anointing on my wife. All my children, all my husband, all my parents, go ahead and begin to pray. The seal of the anointing, the seal of protection, the seal of the anointing of protection, the seal of the anointing of protection. Lord, put it on my loved ones. In Jesus' name we pray. Say with me, Father, I receive angelic protection this year, 2021. As I journey through this year, your angels will protect me. They will protect my properties. They will protect everything I have. They will protect everyone connected to me. Open your mouth and turn into prayer. I receive protection. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Say with me in the name of Jesus. Every edge around my life, around my family that is broken by the blood of Jesus, you are restored. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. Every broken edge is restored. Every broken edge is restored. Every edge of protection that is broken is restored. Broken edge be restored. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Lift your right hand to heaven. I pray for every one of us, both those here in the studio, in our viewing centers, those watching on Zoom. I declare protection for you. I declare safety for you. I declare that this year you are protected. I declare that everywhere you go, God will protect you this year. The shepherd will guard you this year. No evil will come near you this year. No plague will come near you this year. And there is trouble at the back, you'll be at the front. You will not meet with evil this year. The attack of your enemies on you will not prevail. The arrows they are firing at you will not get to you. In the name of Jesus. This year, I declare, everyone that touches you by mistake will die by correction. I decree that every of the attempts on you will not stand. Yes, for the Bible says the disappoints the devices of the crafty. It thwarts their plans so that their ends cannot perform their enterprise. Another translation says so that they don't succeed in their plans. Whatever they conspire against you, every demonic conspiracy, every satanic conspiracy, 
everyone watching me online watching me on facebook watching me on zoom watching me on youtube from any other platform where you are watching listening to me on radio i declare that in the name of jesus the attempt of your enemies shall not stand their plans are aborted in the name of jesus so shall it be from today when they call your name on that altar the fire of god will appear Amen. if they mention your name for evil the fire of god will appear Amen. in the name of jesus christ ah, i hear this in my spirit i declare you invisible Amen. to the enemies Amen. you will walk you walk past danger they will not see you Amen. you walk past death they will not see you Amen. you walk past robbers they will not see you Amen. you you walk past all evils they will not see you Amen. in the name of jesus my mother used to say something. She says, the needle passes first. Coincidentally, she's here with me in this meeting. She said that the needle passes first before the thread tangles. When you are making a cloth with the needle, the needle must pass first before the thread will tangle. If there's going to be any form of tangling, if the, if the thread is going to tangle, the needle must have to pass first. I declare, <laughs> you will pass first before that danger will happen. You will pass first before that trouble will happen. Amen. When you are there, it will not happen. <laughs> I just said, God said I should announce to you. No matter what happens this year, nothing will happen to you. Amen. I want you to declare, say, no matter what happens, no matter what happens nothing will happen to me. Amen. Say it where I say, no matter what happens this year, nothing will happen to me. Say, in the name of Jesus, I will pass first before that evil will happen. Say, Amen. It is done in Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a clap of in everybody. If that is for Boari, it's okay, but this is for Jehovah, the good shepherd, do it bigger, brighter, and better for the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord this morning. Wow. Let's package our offerings and our tithes. Everyone on Facebook, on YouTube, on Zoom. I'd like you to please package your offerings and your tithes this morning. And let's give to the Lord. Your partnership offering, your partnership seed, I want you to package it this morning and let's give to the Lord. You know, um, it's important for you to know that one of the things that secures your finances is your covenant practices. Yeah. One of the things that secures and protects your finances is your covenant practices. The practice of the tithing and the offering. When we tithe, when we give our offerings, we are securing our financial life. I fear for anybody who does not give. I'm, I'm telling you, I mean it from my heart. I fear for anybody who does not give. These things must be understood. They must be practiced. They must be practiced. One of the things I love dearly about my mother is the fact that, you know, she would always want to give an offering. She would always want to give an offering. Um, she's here with us this morning in the studio and she has packaged her offering. The other day we were praying, having our devotion in the night. Take off the, 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 the stuff. We were, we, were, we were having our devotion at night and um, praise the Lord. We're having a devotion at night, and she came and said she wants to sow seed. Amen. <laughs> she said she wants to sow seed. Now, she understands the practice, the benefits that comes with giving. And if an elderly woman of such magnitude is um, giving, I think we that are younger should give more. Are you following what I'm saying here? Because it's where we are going to that is actually very far. <laughs> are you following what I'm saying here? All right, so package your offerings, lift your offerings up to God this morning as we give to God. Father, we thank you. We declare as we give, may your blessings be released upon our lives. Amen. May we never come down in poverty. May we, may we never know lack this year. Amen. May our accounts and bank accounts overflow. Amen. May our purses overflow with money. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone giving, I declare that by this offering this year, your the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What kill others will not kill you. Amen. What scatters the business of others will not scatter your own. Amen. In amen. Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed. Amen and amen. Quickly put the account details on the screen and let's all give our offerings. Just drop your offering. And while we are doing that, I'd like us to let's give our offerings this morning. 
the account details is on the screen for those of us on Facebook, on YouTube, on any of the platforms. You can quickly do the transfer of your offering and Jehovah will bless you. Secure it with God. The Bible says, lay up to just in heaven where no thief, no corruption, no anything, no robbers can go and break into. So I give my offerings to secure my finances. And I believe as you do that this morning, God will bless you in Jesus' precious name. Somebody say amen. amen. I said say amen. amen. Let's quickly appreciate... Um, I want to appreciate F Charity, my elder sister. Please, uh, my elder sister, please celebrate her for me and celebrate Mr. Noel and celebrate everyone, Pastor Mrs. Purity and those on Facebook. Help me celebrate every one of them that are joining us on Facebook this morning. Keep clapping for them, celebrate the Lord for them, and let's give all our Podaco Church a good God bless you clap. Let's celebrate our Podaco Church. All our viewing centers, please put your hands together for them, and then also celebrate my mother. Who, can you take up the offering this day? Help me celebrate my mother who is here with us in the studio. Mommy, you are welcome. We, we love you. We appreciate you. You are welcome. Let's give a big, big God bless you clap. Amen. And celebrate all the pastors, Pastor Wisdom, Pastor Rock, and Pastor Mrs. Purity. Thank you all for being with us today. God bless you. Everyone joining us for the first time in the Stars Church in Podakot, we love you. We appreciate you. We want to say a very big welcome to you. I'd like you to know that you have a home. You have a church with us and as you continue to worship and fellowship with us the blessing of god will continue to find expression in your life and the star in you will shine in jesus precious name amen, amen. on wednesday it's our communion service and good news good news all right we are beginning a midweek fast with pastor stanley this wednesday midweek this wednesday every wednesday is our midweek fast our midweek fasting it's every wednesday so you you uh, yeah we have the flyer you can probably check for it uh, our midweek fast it's every wednesday and um, it's by 12 o'clock you fast to 12 and you pray with me on wednesday on the online radio at www um, M I X L R O dot com slash the Stars Church Radio. You pray with us on Wednesday in the afternoon, and then by 6 p.m., you join us for a midweek service. And I believe God this year you will be on fire. Amen. I said this year you'll be on fire. Amen. And then also, let's not forget that our Monday morning glory is still on. We'll be praying tomorrow morning by 6 a.m. in the morning. It's going to be brutal, it's going to be awesome. I'll be looking out for you on the radio. God bless you. This year, I'm here trusting God to help me to be a blessing to you. I'm trusting God to help me this year to, 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 to strengthen you in your faith and in your work with God. So please stay connected with us deeply and you will not regret doing that in Jesus' name. Uh, our sister, Mrs. Joyce Johnson, one of our, uh, our women leaders who... Um, as we located, let's celebrate Mrs. Johnson, Joyce. Please celebrate her for me. Thank you, ma'am, for joining. We love you, and we hope that God is keeping you and strengthening you right in your new location. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Let's all rise to our feet as we bring the meeting to a close. This week, I'll need you to lift up your hands and make demand on the blessing of the Lord. What do you want God to do for you? Talk to God about it. What do you want God to do for you? Talk to God. Father, let my step be ordered this week. I pray for supernatural blessing this week. I pray for increase this week. I pray for enlargement this week. Azazonoko, Shigaga Lusti, Zene Maradi, Bebenanana, to Jesusan Ekotalabar. Thank you, Father. We give you glory and praise. Father, this week we will not hear bad news. No evil will be for us. No plague will come near our dwelling. Everyone sick in our families will declare them healed. We walk in favor. We walk in blessings this week. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Be blessed. Amen. Be favored. Amen. The plan of the week concerning you is aborted. No shame will come near you. No disgrace will come near you. Amen. What the enemies are looking for in your life, they will not find. Amen. And I declare that in the name of Jesus, what they don't expect to happen in your life this year, they will see it happen. Amen. Your marriage will happen this year. Amen. Your visa will be delivered this year. Amen. Your car will be given to you this year. Amen. 
your house will happen this year. Amen. Your pregnancy will happen this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This week, the hand of the Lord protect us. Amen. We walk in safety and in divine. Our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us.